demonstration of how you do not need to be an artist to draw biological diagrams, but you should indeed practice these as it is expected that you could draw it yourself. In this example, it's a eukaryotic cell and we need to be able to label all the parts that we've drawn. So first I'm going to label a mitochondria as singular mitochondrion, so really that's what I should have written for one of them. Um, but here I have single lines in the middle, it represents the internal compartments formed by the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. Next you have my ribosomes, which are represented by orange dots here in the cytoplasm. Then you have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or SER, and this is an interconnected network of tubules, but it doesn't have any associated ribosomes. In contrast, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, RER, does have associated ribosomes, so I've put my orange dots around those tubules. My nucleus is going to be represented by a large dark circle, as this is often the way you might see it under the microscope if the cell is not dividing. And then the cytoplasm is going to be the fluid filling the space in which all the organelles are contained. Now the Golgi apparatus is represented as curved with dots at the end that represent the vesicles that may break away from the Golgi apparatus. The lysosomes I'm going to represent as coloured circles but they are distinctly smaller than the nucleus. And finally you have the plasma membrane which is the boundary or line surrounding the entire of the eukaryotic cell. Following on from drawing, we're now going to annotate the functions of each of the parts of the eukaryotic cell, some of which are similar to the prokaryotic cell. To start with, there is the nucleus, and this is a membrane-bound organelle that contains DNA in the form of chromosomes. The function of the nucleus is to control the cell's activities, including mitosis, replication of DNA, and transcription of DNA as part of directing protein synthesis. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is an interconnected network of tubules that's involved in the synthesis of lipids, phospholipids and steroids, regulation of calcium concentration and detoxification of poisons and drugs. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is associated with ribosomes and is involved in protein synthesis along with intracellular transport of polypeptides to the Golgi apparatus. Ribosomes play a primary role in protein synthesis and are necessary for it to occur. Mitochondria are the site of cell respiration, while the Golgi apparatus is involved in modifying, sorting and packaging macromolecules for cell secretion by exocytosis or for use within the cell. The lysosomes contain hydrolyzing enzymes that break down waste material and cellular debris. Then you have the plasma membrane, which as in a prokaryote controls the movement of substances into and out of a cell. And also, as in a prokaryote, the cytoplasm is a site of chemical reactions. The first difference comes right here, where you have the cellulose cell wall in a plant cell. The animal cell does not have a cellulose cell wall. The second one comes right here. The plant cell has a large vacuole. Animal cells have only small vacuoles, if any, so it's important for you to emphasize that this is a large vacuole present in the plant cell. The third one comes right here, where your plant cell has a chloroplast, which is the site of photosynthesis for the plant cell, and animal cell does not contain chloroplasts. 